Have you looked at the house description in the archive yet? The new one? This guy, the wolf lord has no name. For it was but one of gold's interesting. Unintentional creation. That is so interesting. Would you look at that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. the way it looks is also interesting. There are some stuff that is very intriguing, but I don't know the answers to. Hey, look at this. Isn't that interesting? The little black falling star sign. It's in a weird angle, but that's probably because it's like tilted. It's the same sign on Paimon's hairpin, except it's upside down. Mmm, super sus. This might be related to that monster Beto defeated because of her shield. Oh, is that what the situation is? Wait a minute. I do know Beto's story. She apparently beat like a gigantic monster when she was human and like no vision's power. Ooh, this is super sus. It doesn't look exactly the same, but it depicts some similarities. A lot of it. But this is a sea beast. And the other things are wolves. The very first thing that I f said when I fought it earlier was it reminded me of a fish. Because the way it was moving. See, the, immediately when it spawns, it, it seems like it's swimming in water, but it's not. It's floating in air, but the movement is like it is a fish. Like, look at this, right? It looks like it's a fish that's swimming in water. Like a shark almost. Use Beto's alt. Look at animation. Does look like a little bit, doesn't it? Hmm. And there's two. Maybe it's the other one's brother. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Here's here's what's weird about this. Apparently gold made the monster. That means that monster was originally from something else. But it was based on a monster that was similar before it got corrupted. And if that monster was actually a monster that's in Tavat, it might explain how it is something that Beto did kill. What if he made it from Andreas? It is wolf. But it's almost like it moves around like it's a fish, like a sea beast. Maybe that's why the Abyss Herald went to Andreas for reason unknown. Maybe there is some connection between all of these things. Who knows? Maybe we'll get more answers throughout this patch, you know? Maybe it is also related. Oh, <laughs> it all starts to make sense if you really think about it. It can actually all be explained with Albedo's story in the event because Albedo is connected to Rhyndoder and Gold. This is how Mihoyo brings events, dude. I wonder how where Beto sits into all this. Beto's hangout? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Why is there a Beto hangout out of nowhere? This is super suspicious now. Why does she, out of everybody else, get to hang out at this moment? Whether they explain it in the hangout or not, just because of her existence of a hangout at this time where everything should connect with each other, it's a sign. It's a hint. It's a breadcrumb. They do this all the time. I wouldn't even be surprised. And then if I present this idea to people, they'd be like, you're crazy. She didn't say anything in the event, but it's not about that. It's about connecting the dots where everything, how everything represents itself in a patch in like a little together fashion. Let's put this into perspective. What did we just discuss? Recap real quick. Sus. Number one. Wolf boss releases in patch 2.3. This boss related to gold. Number two. Albedo sus in patch event 2.3. Albedo related to gold slash ride noter. Three. Beto in some parts seems to resemble the wolf boss. But why? Question mark. Four. Beto, for some reason, has a hangout in this exact patch. Does this mean everything is connected? Question mark. This is very interesting, isn't it? Does this also mean that Albedo's event quest will explain something? What about Beto's? Hang out. The answer is no. Nothing will get answered. The only thing we will get is more breadcrumbs for me to piece together 
for another video. Dot dot dot. Sus. L B. They don't. Albedo. Here's a little lore for you for today, I guess. Wrap your head around that for like a day or two or throughout the event.